Good day everyone. My name is Ken Thomas. I'm the chairperson of the Pankole Improvement Committee. I am here today to address the statements made by Ms. Alifia Reed on the matter of, of the occupation of the Pankole Community Center from since after Hurricane Maria. Let me first say that the executive committee members of the Pankole Improvement Committee understands the plight and situation that Ms. Reed have been in over the last six years. We have all advised and have tried to help Ms. Reed in many different ways to get housing and leave the community center which, was, which is intended for temporary stay in a time of storms. It is not an ideal place or neither is it a comfortable long-term residency. Having said that, I must say that we at the Foncole Improvement Committee is very disappointed with the er erroneous statements made against FCIC. It is totally contrary to what we have been doing to assist Ms. Reed and many other persons who come to us for help. Here are some in undisputed facts that Ms. Reed is intentionally leaving out. Number one, Ms. Reed did not leave did not, sorry, did not move to the community center due to Hurricane Maria. After Hurricane Maria, Miss Reed was renting a downstairs apartment belonging to our community PRO, Miss Candia Nelson Ans, auntie. When she was given notice to leave, Mrs. Nelson, Mrs. Candia Nelson took it upon herself to approach the Foncole Improvement Committee as an executive member to have to have temporarily moved Miss Reed into the community center. We brought this situation up to local government authority who was not in favor of such a move. We convinced the local government to allow us to use, to use the community center to help Miss Reed on, on a temporary basis on humanitarian and compassionate grounds. This is how Miss Reed got to be living at the community center for the last six years. Fact number two. After Hurricane Maria, the same, our same executive member, PRO, Kanja Nelson, again sought help for Miss Reed by contacting Pastor Rodney, Pastor Sarah, Miss, Mrs. T Miss Tina Alexander, the Red Cross, including the cabinet secretary at the time all to assist Miss Reed. Miss Reed was offered 12 sheets of governance from Mrs. Nelson that the community had gotten from the World Bank. Miss Reed refused the governance at the time to assist herself. Why would she do such a thing? You, you need to ask Miss Reed. Fact number three. I can also confirm because I have spoken with the HRP authorities that Ms. Reed has a, a signed application with the government of Dominica and, and the HRP for housing assistance. I, I once again say that this has been approved. So the fact that Ms. Reed is saying that no one is trying to help her is totally false because Ms. Reed has been going to the HRP offices, office on many occasions because to her it's been delayed and yes there is a delay but the delay is has many factors to it first of all miss reed has to bring has to bring an approved land paper whether that have been done done i am not i'm not sure also uh, i was told by by the hrp that um that they are also having a delay because uh they are having some issues finding contractors in the area to actually get this going so like many other people who are waiting for hrp housing there is a delay and miss reed knows that because she keeps visiting the hrp offices and they have been talking to them on a on a regular basis and trying to get them to push the house for her so for miss reed to say that she's getting no help from anybody that is just not true that is absolutely false a few months ago, we had a meeting with Ms. Reed, our committee, the Foncole Improvement Committee had a meeting with Ms. Reed and discussed the issue. 
We discussed the getting of the of the land plan for her. Also, we discussed that um, that soon she has to make accommodations to either you know get get a, a suitable place because, um, as you know, six years is a very long time, and the center is actually a designated hurricane shelter. So to be living in the shelter for six years, I mean, come on, like. How reasonable is that? Like this is the shelter is a temporary stay after a storm. Six years seems to be to me permanent. So I don't know um, what the issue is. Um, okay, so that's another point. Another point is Miss Reed recently went. I personally listened to Miss Reed on the Q95 FM um, radio station program with Matt couple months ago where she was a guest she was asking well actually seeking for um, people to find a rental location for her because what she said was she um, she cannot stay in the community center anymore that's not her place and it's not the it's not the best place she's looking for a two or three bedroom place and miss reed miss reed with her own tongue quoted that she can afford a fourteen hundred dollars rental facility so I don't know if the if her financial situation have changed. If her financial situa financial situation have changed, then that is okay. But Miss Reed is is playing the card of of a victim when she is really not a victim. We have done everything possible, everything possible to actually facilitate Miss Reed, help her to find a lo location, better housing, um, and come on, being in the in the community center for six years. I mean where it's supposed to be a temporary stay from hurricanes or storms i mean you figure it out yourself okay no there's absolutely no politics involved in in the funkola improvement committee we have all sort of um, people on the community who support the labor party the united workers party the freedom party the new parties like this is just not an issue for us at the funkola improvement committee this is a very sad moment, I must say. Miss Reed is in need, and we must speak. And we must speak the truth. She must also speak the truth. We feel for her situation. We feel her situation and hope things will change for her. We will certainly continue to assist Miss Reed in whatever way we can to find residency in in and around Fonkole. Our mandate at the Foncole Improvement Committee is to improve the lives of Foncole residents. Every Foncole resident. We don't, we don't ask you who you vote for or who you belong to. Anybody that come for help, we actually try to help them and we do our best to help them. So for Miss Reed to say that we are just kicking her out, this is not true. We give her ample notice. Like we have had meetings with Miss Reed over the years about finding places. So it's not because she is she gets this this notice a notice must come sooner or later we have to send out a notice um for her to vacate the place because we need to organize the place whenever storms are coming to to accommodate more people furthermore miss reed was using a very um substantial area of the of the funkole community center we have since um, put her in a smaller area because we need more space to to do other stuff in the in the com in the Funkole community center. So this is the situation. I personally find that the statement made by Miss Reed is to the most without any merit and a very very much exaggerated, and the truth must be spoken. Miss Reed needs to admit what the truth is, and not try to portray the Funkula Improvement Committee as people who is out to get her because of a so-called quote-unquote political um, influence. This is just so totally wrong. I mean, Miss Reed knows the truth and she needs to tell the people the exact truth. I mean, it's a situation that anybody who is in such a situation wouldn't feel very good. I don't feel very good that Miss Reed is in that situation. I would rather have Miss Reed um, get find an apartment, but Miss Reed needs to tell the truth, needs to state the facts. The facts cannot be changed. Not because Miss Reed comes here and decides to 
to you know be emotional that that she is telling the truth i mean the truth needs to be told and if anyone wants to contact the hrp or however they can get information as to the status of um miss reed's um um application they are free to do so i don't know if you'll get the information but they are free to um, 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 do so but that doesn't change the fact that uh, that miss reed actually signed an agreement with the government of dominica and hrp for housing this is a fact so i don't know um i am so i'm so perplexed i'm so like i do not understand why would miss reed categorize us in such a, a light when we are doing everything whenever miss reed ask we're doing everything to help her so this is what it is um i mean what else can we do uh, we are here to help the the residents of of, of Foncole. i was i was uh, placed as um chairperson president chairperson to 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 lead this group and i will help anyone who comes who comes to us for help be it um, help for for schooling be it help for for personal stuff like housing whatever whatever way we can facilitate them we will do that we will use our influence we we will use our our you know whatever we have at, at our disposal to actually help anyone who comes to us this is what we want to do our aim is to improve the lives of every Foncole resident um, we need to do projects in, in the Foncole area we need to do you know we have started doing many projects we have, there's a lot of things that we are doing in the Foncole um, community um, so I really don't know what Miss Reed is trying to discredit us and make us look like we are the bad people. This is not right. Miss Reed, I would advise you to just speak the truth and, and um, work with us because we still intend on working with you. I mean, you, you exaggerated, you, you tell untruths, but still, we are here to help anyone, including yourself. So, I mean, that's what it is. So on behalf of the Foncole Improvement Committee, I thank you for listening. And this is what, um, this is our statement on this matter. Thank you.